up you guys it's Lexi DIY and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel y'all this bathroom it's been a mess and it's taken way longer than I thought so I asked you guys in my community tab post um, if you guys would mind if I extended this into another part so instead of two parts it's gonna be three parts and I got all of these really nice comments um, so thank you guys so much for being so supportive renovating is it's a lot and I never really know what's gonna happen there's a lot of things that can throw a project off the timeline completely so I've decided to make it three parts and to save myself a little bit of sanity I'm going to have part three in the final reveal actually next Sunday but I do have a video planned for Thursday because I just hit 100,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so, so much. Like, I can't even believe it. Um, I'm just so grateful. And I have like a whole video on me actually, you know, sitting there as it happens and everything. But I'd also like to include a Q&A because I realize that I'm oftentimes um, behind the camera and you can see me working, but I'm doing a voiceover or, you know, and I know that a lot of people have questions. There's so many new faces here. So I would love it if you guys could drop questions for my 100K Q&A and that'll be up on Thursday. So drop them in the comment section and you could be featured and your question could be featured in my video on Thursday. So thank you guys so much. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the renovation. Okay, so we're starting off with painting the bathroom. Now, don't worry, we did sand down because I know last time we left off with us putting the second layer of, um, what's it called? I was gonna call it thin set. It's not thin set, but um, whatever over the walls uh, for the drywall, like taping and stuff. We did already sand it down. We just didn't film it because frankly, we were over it and it was so dusty in there. It was just a mess. So we were like, you know what? Let's just not film it. They get it. We sanded it down. Uh, we definitely didn't do a perfect job on the walls, but I would say for our first time drywalling, it wasn't too bad. There was some parts that we needed to sand down a little more. You'll kind of see as we get towards the toilet area, but frankly, the toilet will cover it. So it's fine. Um, I'm using bear paint, which this isn't sponsored or anything, but I like basically exclusively use bear paint. I don't know. I just really like it. Um, and I used it in like a satin enamel finish, which is like made for bathroom. So it's super durable. And normally I use the color solid opal, which I really, really love. It's kind of like a warmer white, but this is the color frost and I'm obsessed with it. I wanted to go with a more bright white in the bathroom to make it feel bigger and more luxurious and kind of just more modern to go with the large format tiles. I'm using that little, um, edge thing you definitely need to get one of those they're the best thing ever like I love using those and I'm just doing the rest you know with my foam roller and a little bit of um, with my handheld like corner brush and that corner brush I have like a million but here is what it's looking like it looks so much better just with a coat of paint you guys and this is the point where I was like I can see it I can see the vision Okay, I'm in my bathroom, and as you can see, it's very white. It's a very gloomy day outside, and I am in my PJs. And I'm going to paint in these, because I don't care. Um, I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to do another coat on this whole room. You don't want to see me painting for 10 hours, but you guys already saw the drastic change. So that's what I'm going to go do now, and then I'll come back once I have to paint the dreaded window. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know I despise painting windows, okay? And it's basically just because the prep work is so much like taping it all off, making sure it's perfect, and then it never is, and it's like a whole thing. And that was until I got this masking liquid. Now, so many of you guys have told me to purchase this, and I was hesitant because it's like $30 for a little like bucket of it, but I barely used any of it, and it was the best Thing ever you guys I just painted it on the windows and then I peeled it off at the end which I'll show you guys like a little bit later and once it was dry I went over with a high gloss trim paint that I actually just already had um, in, in the color solid opal because that's what we did the rest of our house so it's a little bit of a contrast between the trim and the walls but really not that much um, and yeah it was so much easier 
I, I highly recommend this. I'll try to link it below if I remember. And I also went ahead and gave my door trim just a coat of paint as well. And then it was time to do the second layer of Red Guard in the shower, which is the waterproofing membrane that we used. Um, I did just give the walls a nice little uh, wipe down because it was very dusty after um, we had done all of the walls. So I guess I would recommend maybe either putting plastic over this while you do the walls or hopefully you don't have to re-drywall because you don't have a bunch of tile on your wall that you have to take off. But um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. I'm going in first with my brush and I'm getting over all of the screw heads again and in all of the seams. And I'm rolling uh, my second layer on in the opposite direction that I rolled the first one on, kind of to like interlock it and make sure that no moisture is going to be getting through this um, to like the backer cement board. But this stuff really does smell, so make sure that you um, open a window and don't paint it right before you do it. And definitely wear those protective gloves. Now, we are getting to the exciting part. This was a tile that we accidentally cracked, and luckily we had 13 tiles, which was the exact amount that we needed for the shower, and we didn't need this one to be like fully intact. We needed it for the curb, um, but we used it as a test cut at first, just in case we messed one up, it would be the one that was cracked. Um, and we ended up getting that little tile saw, which I'll explain more about that later. Um, but here I am just measuring out to find the center of the shower. Now, I did find the exact center of the shower, but let me tell you how much trouble we had with these tiles. And I didn't end up getting the tiles exactly on center, like they were just a smidge off because they're just so heavy. But anyway, I'm putting the mortar on the wall. I had so much trouble with this at first, and I don't really know, it's not like difficult, but I just wasn't using the trowel properly, which is that thing that I'm putting it on the wall with, but I did make sure that I had some score patterns, um, and we did put some on the back of the tile as well, which you just couldn't see because it wasn't in the shot. And then we used those little suction cups, which made it a lot easier to navigate the tiles, but they were so heavy, you guys, and this took us so much longer than we initially thought. I did put the little spacers in. In hindsight, I actually wish I would have bought some different spacers, but it's totally fine. And then we pressed it up against the wall, and I ended up starting to use like this little spatula to get it on the wall first, and then use the trowel to put the little grooves in it. Um, because I just felt like that was easier. I don't know if it's just because I have little hands and it was difficult for me to work with, but it was what it was. Um, and then we put the second one on, took those, um, just like any of the excess mortar off of the edges, and then I put the spacers in. So basically we put these two tiles up last night and they're looking really good. Um, they're really freaking heavy and it's a lot to get them on, so the rest of this is gonna be very interesting. Um, but now I'm just gonna take the measurements because they're definitely not perfect, we in the center, um, and write them down, and then whenever Dustin gets home, hopefully it'll stop raining so that we can make the cuts to our tiles. Um, and if it does keep raining, then we might only get to put two more up today, which is gonna suck, but it is what it is, so let's go. So like I just said, I started to measure out the cuts that we would need to make and I made sure that I measured at the top and the bottom. What I didn't account for at first was the spacers. So keep that in mind. Uh, we did set up on the front porch because it was covered and I kind of measured everything out and Dustin was getting the tile saw set up. And then, um, we realized that the water source that we needed was not going to reach or whatever. So we went out to the backyard and we started to cut the first tile. We did put that painter's tape down. I read in some places that it kind of can, you know, help with any chipping. And I think that it did, but mainly it was just so that we could have a guide 
to work with and to cut along. And then I used a sponge and some paper towel just to clean off the excess dirt from, you know, cutting it. Now we did not cut it correctly the first time because like I said, uh, I didn't account for those spacers and I probably should have. We just cut it like three times. So hopefully this time is it. Clearly, I was very frustrated, but it ended up being the proper fit, so thank goodness. And we made sure that we dry fit all of these before we just like stuck the mortar on the wall and on the tile and tried to stick it in to make sure that it fits. So definitely, definitely do that. Especially with these big tiles because you guys, these are, these are no joke. I, I seriously think that if I would have gone with smaller tiles, I could have tiled the shower very easily in one day. Um, and the reason that I'm so set back on the bathroom is because they're, these are so hard to work with because they're very heavy they're, and they're like as tall as me. So I couldn't put them up by myself. Like they were even heavy for Dustin and he's like very strong um, because once you put the mortar on the back of the tile, it's like even heavier. We had some issues cutting the next one because we we're just gonna keep doing the bottom, um, but I'll get into that later. So we decided let's put up a tile that we don't have to cut. Um, so again, putting the mortar on the wall and yeah, it's this looks very quick. It's not, let me tell you. It took us like an hour to do each tile. Here's Preston being so sweet and supportive and then taking a nap up against the wall. <laughs> But anyway, once I had it up, again, making sure that score pattern is in there and then putting it on the back of the tile as well with a score pattern. Um, I forgot what it's called. Oh, buttering the back of it. And then Dustin, poor Dustin, these are so heavy. So we picked it up. Thank God we got those little suction cups. We probably should have got bigger ones, but it's fine. Pushed that one up against the wall and put in the spacers. Once I got the excess mortar off, from around the edges. I went back with a wet sponge and a paper towel just to get any of the mortar off the tiles. We did end up getting some on and I'll have to get that off later, but it is what it is. Didn't realize my ring light was in the middle of the shot, but anyway, we got another tile up on the wall and y'all, let me tell you, we were exhausted after doing these. I love the way that they turned out, but I would highly recommend if it's your first time tiling a shower, don't go with a large format because they are a lot to deal with. After the window paint had dried and I had actually put on another coat of it, I just used a razor blade to score around uh, the masking liquid that I had put on the windows and it came off super easy. Like again, I know I've mentioned it a lot in this video, but this is such a game changer and it's totally worth the money. So highly recommend just so you know. Um, and then I carried a tile outside by myself because Dustin wasn't here and I was like, I'm getting this done and it was really heavy, but it's okay. You know, it's just basically my body weight. Um, <laughs> and again, this little tile saw was only $90. It's handheld uh, with a diamond blade and it was so, so easy to use. So highly recommend we got it at Home Depot. And then um, here I am. I'm not gonna show you guys me putting all of the mortar up on the wall. And you know, it's a very continuous process, but it is very satisfying. Um, I did use the rubber mallet to like help put the tiles on too, which I'll show you a little bit later. But here I'm just measuring it out and I'm marking the back um, where I need to cut for this little niche. And that was really helpful to just do it like that instead of measure it out. And I ended up cutting it like really nicely. Again, this tile saw is so easy to use. It was really, really quick. Honestly, the most difficult part was just the fact that, that we like had to carry them so far to the bathroom. Uh, but you know, really not that bad. It did take us about three days though to get all of the tile up and the niche still isn't done and the floor still isn't done. So it is what it is. Again, just cutting the tile. I did have to kind of like take some breaks because uh, I was like hunched over it since we did it on a pallet on the ground. Normally I think you would have this on a higher surface, but you know, it got the job done and it worked. Again, I am using mortar on the wall and the back of the tile because they're very heavy. They need a lot of mortar and a lot of 
like working in to make sure that they're steady and up there. And it was a very tedious process. Totally worth it though because the shower is already looking so much better. And here are just some satisfying shots. Like I said earlier, I was tr having trouble just getting it on the wall with the uh, trowel. So I used these little like knives to get it on the wall and then I went back with the trowel afterwards and put the ridges in. Here's the other cut piece. So now the back wall is finally done and we moved on to this. Now luckily we only had to like put a little bit so that the pipe would fit um, and we didn't have to like actually like, cut into it. So that was really awesome. And as you can see there, I was hitting it with the rubber mallet. That was getting it in place. I was really scared to do that. I didn't want them to break, but it was fine as long as you're using a rubber mallet to like make sure that the mortar on the back of the tile and the mortar on the back of the wall is getting like smushed together. And then it was time to do the uh, little curve. And I just cut that extra piece of tile, put it on, and then I did the other side. Again, I'm wiping up with a sponge in between just to make sure that I'm not getting mortar everywhere, even though I definitely did. Here's me pushing on the back side piece. And I was able to get this in two pieces and it doesn't line up with the grout lines on the wall, but it doesn't really matter because this little piece is gonna be behind the toilet. So you're not even gonna notice it and it's gonna look like one long piece on there, which is really nice. Um, Again, I'm just putting these on, putting the little spacers in, and then there are these little things I put on the edge that I cut to size with my miter shears, which I didn't record that. And basically it's so that you don't see the edge of the tile and it just gives it a more modern look. I could have mitered the edges, but frankly, that seems like a daunting task that I didn't want to do. And these things were like $5. They're the uh, Schluter System brand. And I just pushed those in to my mortar, put some more mortar on the back of the tile, and then popped it right into that. And it really did make it look so much more finished. We still obviously have to grout all of it, but this was really good. And I'm measuring it to make sure, or <laughs> measuring it, I'm leveling it to make sure that Part of it is actually higher um, so that if any water gets caught on it, it will go down into the pan. We're getting into the final stretch of finishing the tile. You guys, this took us like three days. I really thought since they were bigger that they wouldn't take nearly as much time to do, but I was definitely wrong about that. So just keep that in mind. I wouldn't recommend going with these if you've never tiled before because it was a learning curve, let me tell you. So then um, after that bottom one was done, we cut the top one, which I just didn't show you, and put that one in place. And luckily, now we only have one more left to do. But this one was the hardest one to do because yeah, we, we couldn't get that hole exactly right and we didn't want to crack the tile. We redid this one like a million times before we actually stuck it on the wall. And finally, it was done. Then I decided to go ahead and put the back piece in for the niche and let that dry before I cut the edge pieces and did like the banding. So that's in right now. And um, that's where we're gonna stop for today, but here is the before and after of where we're at so far. video you guys this bathroom might be the death of me but it's gonna be really good so I'm going to say right now that I think that the final reveal video will be on Sunday and I feel like everything should be done but honestly I'm not making any promises because we saw what happened with this video but um, 
I am going to be doing that extra video on Thursday, like I said, for 100,000 subscribers. So ask any questions that you have for me or Dustin, anything in the comment section below. Also, make sure that you're following me on all my other social media platforms. They'll be linked here on the screen and in the description box below. And if you're not already a hot mess homie here, make sure that you subscribe and ring that bell notification so you never miss when I upload next. Also, if you didn't know, my husband has a vlog channel and you guys should definitely go subscribe to him. Um, I'm gonna link that in the description box below. But that's it for me today, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.